Um, and on today's episode, I am happy to share with you my recipe for um, bow tie. But this, it originates from Vietnam, but this is my version. This is not the authentic version of it. This is my version of it. Um, this is what I like to do. I like to create dishes um, or replicate dishes as well that you can make at home and you don't have to worry about getting out and getting all these crazy different ingredients. Um, this is really a nice uh, replication of it. Um, I enjoy it and I think you're going to enjoy it as well. So <laughs> without further ado, let's go over what we will be using. Um, we have some chicken stock and we have some chopped um, green onions here. I've just got the the, the green part of them. Um, some regular onions. Whoops, I almost missed this. This is, I I don't know, don't know where any of my little, I cooked a lot of dishes today and I misplaced some of my little bowls, but this is, don't judge. It's a, it's a little teaspoon, but this is ginger and that's what I have it in, so, so be it. Ginger and we have some crushed red pepper flakes and some garlic some mushrooms that I've diced up, and these are some cherry tomatoes, um, and some nice large shrimp, beautiful, beautiful shrimp. And here we have some chili sauce, some lemon juice, some diced um, regular tomatoes, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of cilantro, and instead of the um, regular noodles that you use, the Vietnamese noodles that you use um, for this dish, I'm just using regular noodles for mine. I mean, I'm not going all out. And, I mean, it's the same effect, but I've already cooked these and for about eight minutes to make them al dente. I put a little bit of butter in them just so they don't stick. Um, and I wanted to do this ahead of time. So, and I'm, I'm being told that I forgot something over here. So, onions, see, see, Olivia, these are onions. Sorry, I forgot regular onions. Okay, so let's go over the stove and get started. Okay, I've got my chicken stock in a um, medium-sized pan, um, depending on how much you're going to make. If you're going to make, you know, more than this, you probably need to double the, the um, ingredients. Um, but I've got this in here. I'm bringing it to a boil, and I am going to add my scallions or green onions, whatever you prefer to call them. And then we're going to go ahead and add our little bit of ginger. Ginger is very, has a very pungent flavor. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add our garlic. And you can get this written recipe at In the Kitchen with Sandy uh, at blogspot.com. And the full recipe is there ready and waiting for you. So we're going to bring this to a boil and let it um, boil to where it becomes aromatic for maybe two or three minutes. I've um, cooked this for um, about three or four minutes. Okay, if anybody's looking to get me something nice for Christmas, I need a new pepper mill. For real. Okay, this is very aromatic. I can't tell you how aromatic it is. It just smells so wonderful. Look down in there. It's just a boiling away. And um, we're going to add our onions. Ooh, they're hot. And our mushrooms. Oh, this is a nice dish. Look how pretty those are. That is gorgeous. And we're going to let these cook for about a minute or so. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add our, let's go ahead and give it a pinch of salt. Just a couple pinches. Now the chicken broth is salty, so you don't want to add too much. And then we are going to go ahead and add our chopped tomatoes. I don't know what it is about me and uh, tomatoes that I want to call them potatoes. And we're going to let these cook for probably about four minutes um, just until they start softening up and get a little bit tender. Look at that, how pretty that is already. And it smells, it smells amazing. So we're going to let this cook down for probably about four minutes and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. We're going to go ahead and add the shrimp. Again, this is already cooked, so um, it's not going to take as long. Just give it a stir. 
and we're gonna let this cook um, again for just a couple minutes as you're kind of just letting the flavors marry. We're gonna go ahead and add some of our cilantro. We're gonna leave a little bit of it just for garnish. And let this cook up for just a minute. And again, here we go. I say cilantro, you say cilantro. Cilantro, cilantro. She's telling me it's cilantro, mama. So we added the cilantro and we're gonna save some for um, garnish. And uh, again, if this was the raw shrimp, you would just let it cook a little bit longer, but these just pretty much have to heat through. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our cherry tomatoes. Now, we're going to cook this, boil, let this boil, uh, simmer for about um, three to four minutes, and then we are going to serve it up. Okay, our um, soup is done. So what you're going to do is you're going to add your noodles to the bottom of your dish, however many you'd like. I like noodles. Add your bow tie. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And you're just going to ladle that right in there. That's beautiful. I'm going to find the shrimp. I know I put some in there, didn't I? Let's find some shrimp. There's the shrimp. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. And that's it. That's all you do. And then you enjoy. A little bit more broth. Now, I want you to look how pretty that is. And then your remaining cilantro. Just go right over top of that. There you go. And somebody is liking it. My, that's my Jojo kitty. Say hi, Jojo kitty. Now, I want you to look how pretty the soup is. Ooh, see how pretty and how hot. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Now, we're going to taste it. If I can get just a little. I probably better try the broth first because this is going to burn that. You know what? Out of my mouth. Mm, that's tasty. Mm. Very hearty. This is really good. Really good. Get my shrimp. I'll dig me out a piece of shrimp for too long. Well, I've, I hope you enjoy this recipe. I hope you make it. Um, it's, it's truly amazing. So make sure you give this a try. Give me a thumbs up. Show me some love. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Pinterest. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.